Howdy folks, this is Chris with Big Guys Hike 2, and this is uh, week 25 of my journey from Dad Bod Fat to Jim Rat. Um, as always, if uh, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to be notified of any new videos, hit the uh, bell notification. And as always, I love comments below. I read them all, and I answer any questions that people have. So uh, this is my sixth week of injection of the 10 milligrams of Monjaro. I um, have been walking it forward till Sunday. Um, the day after I get the vaccine, I'm really kind of tired and don't uh, feel like doing a whole lot. And so my wife and I, <laughs> my wife and I, uh, she decided that uh, she'd rather have me a little more uh, enthusiastic on the weekend when we're spending time together and that I can lay around and be lazy since I'm retired on Monday. So um, this last injection was done on Sunday. So from now on, I'll be doing them on Sunday evenings. And um, I'm also gonna start moving my weights to that day too. So um, side effects uh, mostly waned away. Uh, the heartburn came back this last week, but uh, I'm not really sure why, um, but uh, the tum seems to handle it. Uh, appetite suppression is coming back, but there's a reason which I'll explain here in a little bit on the last day or so on that. Um, here's the video of me weighing in this week. Um, I weighed in at 262 pounds, which is a gain of 1.2 pounds. And, uh, there's a reason for that, which I'll explain here in a second. Also, the, um, blood sugars have been slightly over a hundred on an average, um, my endocrinologist thinks that's great. I still want to go below that, but, uh, they are not going up high anymore and I don't have any really high elevated ones. So I'm doing really well on that. I'm excited to see what my A1C is going to be, uh, as far as, um, carbohydrates. My endocrinologist wanted me to start eating more carbohydrates. I started doing that, but my numbers started going up. So, uh, I'm kind of backing down a little bit on the carbohydrates. But I am eating more carbohydrates than I did before. Before I was doing 35 grams a day, and now I'm probably doing maybe 50 to 70 a day. So we'll see how that. I was up to like 100 a day, and then was I was having my sugars were creeping up a little bit. So I'm backing off of that, and I don't really see any more energy or positiveness to uh, increase in the carbohydrates. It makes it a little more enjoyable to eat some things. Um, as far as other health issues. Uh, my tendonitis and my elbows are gone. The pinch nerve in my neck is getting better, but it's still there. I have an appointment in a month with the spine specialist to talk to him about that, but it is improving. Um, as far as uh, sleeping, I have a new bed that is awesome. It, uh, it's an uh, adjustable bed and uh, it's doing really well. Um, I'm sleeping on my back now, and I started taking the NyQuil sleep uh, medicine at night to try to get some better sleep, and uh, it seems to be working really well, so I will continue that for a little while. Um, and now for uh, to explain the weight gain and um, the appetite coming back. I um, had uh, prostate cancer and had treated, got treated for that two years ago. And it wiped my uh, testosterone levels down to like uh, below 100, and uh, which seemed to be causing a lot of the drowsiness, uh, lack of uh, wanting to do anything. Um, just pretty much just didn't feel good. And uh, so I talked to my doctor and I talked to uh, a uh, urologist and we together uh, formulated uh, so I'm now going to be on uh, TRT treatment, and so I've been taking that, and um, that causes you to have a little bit of an increase in appetite, and it also um, causes you to start gaining a little bit of water weight at the beginning, and also um, muscle growth. So um, I've been going to the gym, and I definitely have noticed a little bit of that. So that's probably why I'm starting to gain a little bit of weight, but uh, I can tell you as far as um, what it looks like in the mirror, uh, I don't see fat coming back. It, it, it uh, 
seems like I'm still leaning out a little bit. So we'll continue to progress with that. And if the weight keeps going up, I may have to cut back on some of the food. Um, and uh, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I just wanted to be honest and open with everybody on what I'm doing and uh, how this might affect my weight loss journey. Um, exercise, uh, I'm back at the gym and like I said with the TRT, I am starting to see uh, gains again in my training and um, in my ability to train. I've been walking at least an hour plus on the cardio machine since I've been back. I did try the push-pull leg thing um, and I didn't like it. It seemed like I was working out too long and getting too exhausted because I was trying to get all the body parts in. So I'm back to a bro split, so I'm doing four days on, one day off. And I just basically pulled the arms out of the push and pull. And so I'm doing a push, pull, leg, and then arm day. And um, on the push and pull, I'm doing everything I was doing before, just the arms I'm doing on a separate day. And that gets me an hour workout of weightlifting each day. So, um, and then with the TRT, I am noticing a lot more energy and uh, enthusiasm to do more work and to uh, get out and not sit around. I, I get fidgety if I sit around now. So um, I've been doing a lot more yard work. I even climbed up on the roof and replaced the top of my chimney for our fireplace, which I started uh, about two years ago and I finished it um, this week. So I'm definitely getting out and doing more about that. So all in all, I'm really happy. Um, and I just want to see the weight to keep going down. So um, I'm going to have to look at my diet a little bit more now that I'm on the TRT and see where I got to adjust on that. And with that being said, um, remember, plan your hike, hike your plan. And as always, thank you for watching my video.